isn't it beautiful when your team kind of shows that they give a crap today and they win a ball game? Shockingly. You're facing off against Aaron Nola, Chris Bassett, who on the road this season has been pretty damn awful. Albeit his numbers against the Phillies for his career have been very good. So take that for what it is. But you win 5-3. Baseball is a crazy sport. It really is. The Blue Jays split the series, I guess, 1-1 in Philly. And I have the off day tomorrow. The Jays record is now 17-20 on the year. They score five runs on 12 hits today. They actually teed off on Aaron Nola. Five and two-thirds, nine hits, four earned. They were great. A lot of line drives. And it started in the top of the third inning. As Vladdy rips one into left field for a base and a hang and break them all. He does not miss it. Disposes of it into left field for a base hit. Springer comes all the way around to score from second. And you lead one nothing. But they counter right back with Kyle Schwarber and his sacrifice fly, tying the game at one. And this is where things could have got interesting for Chris Bassett. Because, was that in the third inning where things got crazy? Yeah. Bryson Stott walks, the number seven hitter. Edmundo Sosa, he walks, the number eight hitter now. And the number nine hitters have Johan Rojas. And it looks like he's going to try and bunt. And he does, but they, 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 John Schneider and the fellows are like, whoa, whoa, hold on a minute. You know, he fouled it off. It hit him twice. So it's a dead ball. Done. Curtains. And they redo it. And then Rojas singles to center field. The bases are loaded. Nobody out. In a one nothing Blue Jays lead at this point. For Kyle Schwarber, JT Real, Real Muto, and Bryce freaking Harper. This, this won't go well. Kyle Schwarber hits a sacrifice fly to George Springer. Albeit it was in foul ground. He made a great diving catch. One guy tags up. The other ones do not. Which was interesting. Um, so in a diving play. But again, fine. Again, you can't go halfway. So I understand. Whatever. Regardless. Then J2 Real Muto. Almost double play. He's safe at first. And now you got runners at first and third. With two out. In a tied 1-1 game for Bryce Harper. And he hits a fly ball to the right field. Fairly, it was right back to the warning track. And George Springer makes the play. To somehow get out of a bases loaded, nobody out situation. In, with those guys coming up. And all you allow is a sacrifice fly to tie the game. A massive spot for Chris Bassett. Let's move to the top of the sixth inning. Where the Blue Jays, they had an approach. And it was so beautiful to watch. You know, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., battle of lane field single. I mean, why not? The guy hits 110 off the bat all the time. It's just more or less into the ground. Um, and he has a little dribbler. He's safe at first base because he runs. He makes an effort. And he's safe on an infield single. And Justin Turner gets out, or, or I guess a fielder's choice. Vladi out at second. Turner's safe at first. But then Danny Jansen comes up. And yes, Danny Jansen gets put in the five hole. Thank God. God for that. It's about damn time that one of your best hitters on the team, guy going into play today, had an OPS of over 1,100. Again, very minimal sample size, but he's hitting 1,100 OPS. He's been dominating. He goes into the five hole, and he rips a double. Now, turn up to third base. You have second and third, one out. How confident are Jays fans is going to come in? Probably not very much, especially with Bo Bichette, the way he's been struggling. Well... He rips a single to right field. In comes uh, Justin Turner. Danny up to third. Runners in the corners. You regain the lead. It's now 2-1. Next up, Davis Schneider. Rips the ball in the left center field for a base hit. In comes Danny Jensen. Bow up to second. And hey, look at this. Look at this. The Blue Jays lead it now. 3-1. They bring in Matt Schramm. Or sorry. I IKF pops out to uh, Bryce Harper. So unfortunately, no runners move up. And his guys are first and second now with two out. They bring in Matt Strom, the lefty, to face Kevin Kiermeyer, And he dumps a single in the left center field for a base hit. In comes Bo. They crush that match up the lefty, lefty. Strom is nasty as well. I mean, what's his numbers this year? Uh, Matt Strom, Matt Strom. Yeah, and you're at 126 going into play today. He has been awesome. And he allows that RBI single to Kevin Kiermeyer for the Blue Jays to take a 4-1 lead. Awesome stuff. 
Then the bottom of seventh inning, you know, it gets a little airy for Chris Bass. Right, guys, it's second and third. And again, all they allow is a sacrifice fly to Bryson Stott because Zach Pop came in to finish this. And he does a job. Gets a sack fly. Yeah, one run cross. Excuse me, he's now 4-2. But then he gets a strikeout to end the inning with the guy stranded at third base. Good. Then the top of the eighth inning, the Jays counter with David Schneider on base yet again. Kevin Kiermeyer. God, I don't know how he got a single here. But regardless, who cares? Results, baby. It, you love it. He singles to second base, it says. That's, that's what we're talking about here. But David Schneider comes in to score, and you get that one run right back. It's 5-2. Then we go to the bottom of the ninth inning. And Jordan Romano cannot make this easy on any of us. He, he really can't. Allows a single to Alec Bohm. Then gets a, you know, whatchamacallit, uh, a fielder's choice. Bohm out at second base. Brandon Marsh is now at first. Nick Castellanos then singles to right center. Then Bryson Stott doubles. In comes Marsh. You get guys at second and third. The tying run is in scoring position with one out. He gets Cody Clemens to pop out to Bo. Then Whit Merrifield comes up. And you would not be a Toronto sports fan if you did not feel this. The thought of, oh, the tying runners in scoring position and a former Blue Jay who shouldn't, you know, he's what, probably hitting ninth. He came off the bench. Where was, where was he hitting? Ninth. Um, he's probably going to hurt you here. But no. He pops out in foul ground to Vladdy to end the ball game. And you win a game. Isn't it so much more fun to look at a game and watch a game when you're actually in the damn thing and you're not your offense isn't a liability? Like, it's just what it seems when this team can hit the kid at baseball. Like they're not going to be a team that's going to hit a bunch of home runs. We've kind of learned that now. So hitting five singles in one inning as they did in the in, in the sixth, that's what it's going to take. And obviously it's not easy because they'd be doing it a lot more. But positive signs, I guess, from today for the Toronto Blue Jays. Uh, George Springer, one for five, a single score to run. Guess it's fine. Still hitting in the leadoff hole, though. I don't know what we're doing, but fine. Varsho, 0 for 4, three strikeouts. So a tough night for Varsho. But Vladdy, two rip singles and an infield single. Three for five with an RBI. His numbers are slowly starting to creep up. Justin Turner, a rough day. 0 for 5 with a run scored for him. The numbers are slowly starting to come down for Justin Turner. Danny Jansen, 1 for 5, but who cares? It was a double and he scored a run. And this is where the damage got done. The bottom of the lineup. Bo, 1 for 4. Yes, I say bottom of the lineup. He was the number 6 hitter today. 1 for 4 with a run scored in RBI. Good on him. I mean, look, a big hit with guys in scoring position. I'll take it any day of the week. David Schneider, mutant. 2 for 3. Run scored, RBI, and a walk in the, in the game for Davis. He's hitting... Nah, Quietly, hitting 275 with a 383 on base and going into play today with an 822 OPS. He's done fantastic for this team. He really, really has. And, and uh, where are we? Kevin Kiermeyer. As much as they were all singles and one was a lucky single, who cares? Three for four, two RBIs, and all of a sudden KK's hitting 224 on the year. Remember when this guy couldn't even hit 100 and it was bad? Well, it's slowly starting to come up a little bit. And uh, he probably has a higher OPS than Bo Bichette after today's three hits. This is what we're talking about. Pitching-wise, Chris Bassett was great. Six and a third. He wanted to get through seven. He heard him post-game. He really wanted to get through that seventh inning. But unfortunately, you know, got into danger. He didn't like the pitch sequences. He, he, he said it after the game. But three hits allowed in six and a third. Two runs, six punch-outs, walk two. He was great. Great outing for Chris Bassett. Zach Pop, I mean, did a job. Right, let's be honest, did a job. Through an inning, no base runners. Yeah, the sack fly happened, but he got a strikeout. Nothing more. Great job from him. Tim Mesa faced two guys, a lot of hit, but nothing more. Fine, we'll take it. These quiet outings are fine. Jordan Romano, eh. inning, left three hits, run scored. Yeah, he gets save number five on the season, but boy, made you sweat. And when does he not? But a win is a win. We'll enjoy it. And then on Friday... You open up a three-game weekend set against the Minnesota Twins. Uh, J uh, jo Joe Ryan gets the ball for the Twins against Yusei Kikuchi in game one. Former Blue Jay farmhand, Simeon Woods Richardson, who's actually had a pretty good start to his season here. I have 174 in 20 innings. He's been very good to start for the Twins against Kevin Gosman. And I'm interested to see how Gos does against the Twins. I mean, they're histor historically, they've done well against him. So, I'm I mean, and obviously the playoff series, we all know what happened in that game. So I'm very intrigued to see what happens in that one. And I believe the finale is Alec Manoa versus Bailey Ober. So we'll see how that plays out as well. Yeah, win two of three. That's all I ask. Win two of three. Okay? Okay. 
All right, so you know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and the win today, because it's much more fun to watch a W, but I'd love to see the same amount of viewers I've had the last few days. Thank you for everyone joining up the page, whether you're subscribing or just viewing the page. I appreciate it wholeheartedly. Hit the like button if you haven't done so already. Hit the subscribe button as well. Comment down below your thoughts on the video, thoughts on the game. Would you like, would you not like from today's game for the Toronto Blue Jays? Twitter, Discord, Instagram, and of course TikTok is down below. So follow up there if you haven't done so already. And I will talk to you guys, Jays edition, obviously on Friday night. I might do the Raptor season review, offseason preview uh, tomorrow uh, since there's nothing going on. So to keep a video out for you guys, I might do that tomorrow. And as for the Blue Jays, they start the weekend set against the Twins at Rogers Center. Joe Ryan, Yusei Kikuchi is the pitching matchup there at 7.07 on Friday. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and the win today. Talk to you guys then.